Coalition of Zimbabwe is an implementing partner under the She Leads project, focusing on promoting the full participation and leadership of women and girls in political and societal decision-making spaces in Zimbabwe. Hi, my name is Cherry Tichaturuka. I am the treasurer for Harare Chapter under the Women's Coalition of Zimbabwe. Okay, uh, I think a lot has changed uh, personally because I must say when I uh, when I got in, involved with the Women's Coalition, where I then got the opportunity to be uh, a part of the She Leads um, project, I was someone who was not outspoken. I was someone who just keep things inside. I was someone who was uh, shy and um, but through the trainings that we got through the she leads project i'm someone that is now i'm outspoken i can um even approach there were certain offices that uh before then i thought oh, 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 maybe i do not have the capacity to put in the like uh i wouldn't even engage the mercantilers edu even my mps edu even kenya kondo gara but with the she leads uh, project we had uh, the opportunity even to meet with certain um, high offices individuals and for me it gave me that courage to say that i can even knock at any door uh, that is uh, there to to give me or to provide me for a service so right now i'm i can s safely say that i am very confident to knock at any door as long as that door is meant to uh, provide uh, services to us as uh, citizens or as individuals so that confidence was uh, built um, through uh, attending my trainings and my workshops at Taita under She Leads. And I also have to say that um, the project gave us an opportunity, especially us as young women, to also network with other young women because we had um, a platform equity we would meet with women from other areas uh, around, uh, around, uh, around Zimbabwe. And we would also learn from them would see um, sometimes uh, the areas that we are coming from do not really determine um, the outcomes that will then um, come to us. So like, um, where you come from does not matter because we, we, we even met with uh, young women from uh, peri-urban areas, talk of Kwaseke and Kunotoni uh, and yeah, my areas are outside, outside, outside of Harare. So that gave uh, me an opportunity to also learn from them and even um, increased the, 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 the courage that I had. But even a young woman from Kwaseke can stand and say, I want to be a sabuku or, you know, the, the rural uh, leadership um, positions that are there. So it also gave me um, the courage and the confidence to say that I can stand even in my, my, my positions that are political. As you know, Kuti, when it comes to the politics as women, we take uh, the big bench because of past experiences. But from the she leads, we were, that confidence was uh, brought back to us to say that not even the sky is the limit. As long as you're confident and you have the, the knowledge you can take up any leadership position that you feel you are capable of. Um, we we once had uh, an advocacy training. I think it was a two days training workshop, and we were equipped with uh, skills ranging from um, using social media. Uh, so as the young, we were the click generation. We are always we are always on social media. We are on Facebook, so we were taught that we can make use of such platforms to our, to our own advantage, to make our issues heard and even to reach to the, to the higher offices. I feel that now my, my voice is now being recognized and I'm now being heard um, since I have been part of the She Leads uh, project because we have um, platforms where we just meet as women, we talk about the issues that are affecting us, and we even um, encourage each other to speak out. We have issues like GBV, we have issues like um, underrepresentation. So through the platforms, we are we are having we are having conversations around issues that are affecting us, 
and I really feel that I'm now being heard and I'm being recognized. The She Leads project has prepared young women to effectively take up management roles within various structures in the society. Hello, my name is Hazel Jojo. I am 24 years. I consider myself as an African feminist. And I am a social worker by profession. And I'm currently doing my master's in social work at Midland State University. I love writing. I love talking about women and the rights of women and African culture in general. Through um, Women's Coalition of Zimbabwe, because I'm also like a young women member there, uh, we have had so much capacity development through different projects that were done under the She Leads. And uh, for me, I feel like my confidence has been boosted because I remember when we started, we actually had some uh, engagements through the red couch we, we, we had a, a red couch session we had four sessions that we did and the first um, season was funded by Hivos, and we managed to talk about personal issues that i haven't really been able to talk to with anyone i remember an episode where we talked about menstrual hygiene and we we're asking each other when did you start you know having your periods and it was online and it was on social media so ever since that episode, I've had an opportunity to just be so much confident and being able to just be comfortable whilst uncomfortable at the same time. For me, it's about leadership. It's, it's about women leadership. Because I remember when we were doing our sessions here at the Women's Coalition of Zimbabwe, one of the most important things that we have been amplifying is how do we make sure that women are capacitated and women are comfortable in being their own leaders in their own spaces. So this has been something that we have been amplifying and this is something that I, I think I'm not the only one who has actually benefited from this whole project. This is something that young women like myself, because I remember after that engagement with Women's Coalition um, through the She Leads project and funding, most women have been able to take up leadership position. Most young women actually took up leadership position within the WICOS membership. So it actually means that there was some takeaways that women actually benefited from. Through her engagement with the Women's Coalition of Zimbabwe, Vanessa is now confidently taking up leadership roles, both at school and in the community. Uh, my name is Vanessa Makadzange. I am aged 19. I am um, an A-level student at Eventos College, where I'm the uh, current head girl. I am a member of the Women Coalition of Zimbabwe and also the Young Women Forum. So what we do is uh, we gather as the young women and we are empowered, we are taught as to how can we go about dealing with social issues, for example, issues to do with rape issues to do with uh, gender-based violence and uh, other issues that affect us as young women. Through She Lead, I can now uh, speak in front of any given audience. For example, at my school, I can now uh, conduct assemblies. At Scripture Union, I can also go in front of other students and speak to them the gospel, actually. So I can say uh, She Lead Project has helped me to actually boost my self-confidence to an extent that I can now speak in any given audience. Uh, the sessions that we did under Shelley's project, uh, specifically uh, covering women empowerment, gender-based violence, and also uh, other trainings have uh, helped me to prepare myself to actually go in front in the leadership spaces and uh, the leadership positions that I aspire as an individual. And also, in my community, we have uh, a lot of cases of gender-based violence. So I would say, as I have been a part of the Shields project, being trained, being uh, uh, empowered, I can now stand for myself and also for my peers. My name is Unyara Rutembani. I'm currently volunteering with Young Women Christian Association, that's YWCA, uh, at Paris Center. Before she leads, uh, I was someone who is, who is shy, 
someone who is reserved. But um, getting to be in the She Leads program, I've been uh, able to be, to be mentored, to, to, to know myself more, to be able to stand up for myself. So She Leads has helped me uh, a lot in confidence building, in being able to stand up and uh, speak what I want uh, to see, to, to be the change that I want to see in the community. So mainly it's being um, to be the voice of the voiceless and to be more confident and more open about the things that I want. Uh, I've been trained to use um, social media like uh, Facebook, WhatsApp, Twitter, and I've been utilizing that for my advocacy work. I, 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 I make it an aim that each and every day I post something on my Facebook account or on my Twitter page about the work that I've, been do that I've done for that day. My experience before she leads with the media has been, um, what can I say? Uh, I have not been much exposed to the to the social media, like um, posting uh, how to create posts, um, those catchy posts, like um, and clearly relate my messages to the to my audiences. So after the Shilis program, I've been trained in uh, social media management. Also, I've been trained on how to protect myself on the media, like you know. Media can be really harsh, uh, cyberbullying. So I've been trained on how to protect myself from cyber attacks and also how to respond on social media. Like, I don't have to respond to everything that is posted on social media. So, yeah, basically I can say it has been really helpful for me because I know how to respond, I know what to respond to.